Hey guys, so I'm just going to start by boiling my quinoa on medium heat and following the directions. The one I'm using today is by Casba. Um, it is uh, labeled as organic, so that's always a bonus. Alright, next step. I'm going to pour some extra virgin olive oil um, into my bowl. It's uh, about two tablespoons. Next step is adding some uh, black crushed pepper. I prefer the grinding kind, but um, my pepper grinder is actually broken. So I'm going to add about, uh, let's say about a tablespoon or so into the bowl as well with the olive oil. Next step is adding some cayenne pepper. I like to add some heat to my quinoa salad. So again, about a teaspoon or so. Add lemon juice to taste. Now next step is minced garlic. Um, this makes a big difference to the quinoa salad. If you're not a fan of garlic, you can always go easy on it or just omit it. But I love it, so I'm going to add about a tablespoon to two. Um, I also diced up some onions um, when my camera was off as well. So that was uh, a quarter of a purple onion. Next step, I'm going to wash this hothouse tomato and I'm going to use half of it. So here's the half of the tomato all diced up. I'm going to add this, um, including all the juices that are left over, and add it into the bowl with the other ingredients. So this is what the bowl looks like at this point. Uh, there's tomatoes, onions, garlic, all the juices and spices, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to wash and cut up uh, two of these mini sweet peppers and just add them into the bowl. On top of that, I'm going to add one stalk of celery as well. It's going to add a nice crunch to the salad. So here's the celery and the peppers that I cut up. I'm going to add them into the bowl. Next step, I believe this was a green jalapeno. So as you can see, I'm just uh, cutting it up. It's a small one, but it does add a lot of uh, kick to the salad. So you can, again, this is all to taste, so you don't have to add this if you don't want to, but I like my quinoa salad spicy, like I mentioned before. So I'm just dicing it up real small um, so there's no massive chunks left in the salad. All right, so grab yourself a ripe avocado and start slicing away. I'm going to do little cross sections through the avocado. It just makes it easier to um, take out of the peel. Then do the one side, pop out the seed of the second, and then do the same thing to that one. So here we go. We're just going to scoop it out. Super easy. Here goes the second one. Pop that in. Now add sea salt to taste. Um, I did use the coarse kind. Some light feta as well. So feta in itself does have salt um, content in it. So I'm not going to use that much. Um, this is a salad I'm making for two people. So I am using a about, um, let's say about an eighth of the um, feta wheel that was in the little container. So again with this, you want to make sure that the pieces aren't too big. Um, I find it's a little bit overwhelming when you get a big bite of uh, the feta, but if they're small, they tend to really blend in. The next step, I'm using Organic Girl uh, Kale Mix. So there's kale, baby spinach, and another um, green mix in there. I'm using about, oh, it's tough to say, about... Two, let's say two handfuls of the greens. Uh, next step is some fresh parsley, if that is available to you. I've made it with the uh, dehydrated kind um, before as well, but I found the fresh just makes a huge difference and really adds great flavor to it. So I'm just going to add that into the bowl as well. At this point, this is what your bowl is going to look like. So you have all your greens on top. Uh, you have your feta hiding underneath, and then all the other stuff at the bottom. The juices are just sitting there waiting to get blended up. Next step, I de-thawed some um, baby shrimp. Not the baby ones, just kind of in between. So I'm going to uh, take the tails off and then add them into the bowl. 
So right here you can see that the shrimp are in there and I um, added the quinoa right on top. So it's still hot at this point, but that's perfect because it's going to blend the ingredients a lot better when I stir it around with this little stir stick. So here's the finished product. Um, lots of color in there. Uh, super tasty. Uh, all the juices at the bottom are now blended in. So I'm just going to go ahead and start serving these on the plate. And here's the finished product. Um, I know my camera doesn't give it justice, but it's delicious. So I hope you enjoy. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.